It's the day of decision on Capitol Hill as the U.S. Senate clears the way for the Civil Rights Bill by voting to limit debate on the measure. GOP leader Everett Dirksen left and Democratic whip Hubert Humphrey mustered four votes more than the necessary majority to invoke cloture. This means each senator is restricted to one hour of talk on the bill. Senator Humphrey was asked if he thought that the bill will now be passed in its present form. Yes, I am. I'm confident that uh, no single section of this bill will be deleted, that none of the enforcement powers will be uh, uh, taken out or weakened. Uh, if there are any amendments, I would consider them to be of a rather minor nature, and I don't see the prospect of very many amendments to this bill. Leader of the opposition to the Civil Rights Bill is Senator Richard Russell of Georgia. He has asked this question. Senator Russell, do you feel, sir, that this large vote for cloture means automatic passage of the Civil Rights Bill? Well, of course, uh, it does show that there's great strength in the Senate for the bill, but I do not think that it means automatic passage of the bill in its uh, present form. We have a large number of amendments there, and we intend to see that the Senate goes on record on practically all of those amendments. Uh, we uh, have lost the battle, of course, but we are not yet ready to surrender in our opposition to this bill, which we feel is a perversion of the American way of life and a great blow at the right of dominion over private property that has been the genesis of our greatness. <laughs>